The LifeHours team are global leaders in delivering pre- and post-breach cyber services. Internationally stationed throughout North America, Europe, and Asia, the firm routinely deploys its team wherever the need arises. LifeHours is a highly technical incident response and digital forensics firm specializing in proactive and reactive solutions to optimize your organization's cybersecurity exposure. I'm Andre Krehel, CEO and founder of LifeHours LLC. Trust in cybersecurity and digital forensic comes with years of experience, scientific approach into solving complex and difficult matters. It is a truly a skill set and approach of those individuals who can perform these uh, more specialized cyber forensics operations. Anyone who goes through some cyber incident is very similar to what happens in the physical world when they go and enter the emergency room. Then they move into the hospitals and then we'll go to rehab. So we also design our portfolio of the solutions the same way. And of course we enlarge them with the tools and also our own products. Our clients are literally victims of a cyber crime. With an extensive portfolio of services and products, primary service areas include cyber incident response, digital forensics, technical assessments, advisory and managed detection and response. Our experience spans decades, working on high-profile cases in coordination with law enforcement agencies around the world. Most of the organizations and individuals should really worry what FBI publishes every year, and that's the business email compromise and cyber extortion, meaning ransomware or some other means of cyber extortion. Everyone is a target. It's just a reality. It's a reality which group will focus on that individuals on or that company. And the same for a business email compromise. It's one of the most classical wire fraud ever conducted, and it will not go to go away. Last year, our company handled close to 150 just ransomware engagements, meaning that someone was cyber extorted for data and their corporate network has been encrypted. Our intel stems not only from MDR malware sample collections and single case investigations, but also large-scale incident response engagements such as ransomware attacks and data breaches. Nation state is a very different issue. Most of the companies and enterprises have no chance to sustain any military attack on their networks. It's almost the same way as we say that each of us can actually predict detect and mitigate cancer in his life. Reality, we don't know. But what we can do is do the constant scanning, performing threat hunting on the networks to see if there is a footprint, if there is a visibility that the nation state threat actor actually entered that premise. And with the help of federal government and professional firms who specialize in nation state, they can find out what the nation state threat actor was after. The LIFAR's best-in-class methodology builds on experience working with U.S. intelligence agencies, U.S. Secret Service, FBI, DHS, Interpol, Europol, and NATO. Over the years, LIFAR's has been a cyber intel contributor to several federal indictments of global cyber crime groups, including nation-state APTs. I truly feel privileged that the teamwork has been done here in uncovering some of the most sophisticated threat actors ransomware and criminal uh, type of groups has been instrumental for our success. I truly believe in doing something unique in the industry in digital forensics. Through the footprint of our work, the way we are solving some of the most sophisticated cyber crimes on the planet, the way we interact with the federal law enforcement with the FBI and the Secret Service, the way we interact with the clients, how we are trying to help them assist them where they really feel they've been extorted, they are at the bottom, they, their network is destroyed and almost they feel there's no place for them to go. It's a very, very privileged and very challenging position at the same time. This work is very meaningful to community and the whole world where cybercrime is being perpetrated almost every day.